The Big 12 officially announces the scheduled pairings for this upcoming conference season. Includes amongst them the Baylor Bears, starting with Scott Drew's squad, which will play five different conference opponents with home and away while taking on four opponents exclusively in Waco and four exclusively on the road as that double round robin system goes out the door with the new 14 team format. With that, we move to a couple of those key matchups I'm sure many will have their eyes on as they get mentally prepared for the upcoming basketball season, starting with the Kansas Jayhawks, who the Bears will play two games against next season, along with the Texas Longhorns. Baylor will get a crack at Rodney Terry's team, both here in Waco, along with a trip down I-35 to the Moody Center, a building that the Bears will look to get their first win in following that 76-71 to defeat there last season. They'll also get a home-and-home -home series against Texas Tech as well with Drew welcoming another former assistant in Grant McCaslin to the conference's coaching fraternity. And finally, speaking of welcoming, Baylor will do just that to Houston with a game solely in Waco. Bears will avoid a trip to the Fertitta Center. Also welcome back former guard LJ Cryer to Waco in the Cougars' first season as a conference member. It's also a day where we found out the same for the Baylor women's basketball team as Nikki Collin gets set for her third season as the head coach in Waco where she will look to get the Bears back to the top of the Big 12 Conference following a campaign in which they finished just sixth in the conference standings as we now look at some key contests for the Bears in 2024 starting with that in-state rival in the Texas Longhorns where much like the men's team Colin and company will play the Lady Longhorns both here in Waco also on the road in Austin and that a similar situation that they will face in terms of Oklahoma State they'll look to avenge the two losses they suffered against the Cowgirls last season and then it'll be a home slate that won't include either Iowa State or Oklahoma this year with the Bears scheduled to go only on the road to Ames where they've won their last three games and also to Norman in the final season in the Big 12 for the Sooners and the final games in a series that has gone back and forth during Collins' time with the team.